Sound is collected from our environment by the pinna and channeled down the external ear canal toward the eardrum. As the sound waves hit the eardrum, they cause it to vibrate, changing the acoustical energy of the sound wave into mechanical energy. This mechanical energy begins its journey through the middle ear system at the malleus, which is attached to the eardrum. When the sound wave hit the eardrum, it also vibrated the head of the malleus. Continuing its journey through the middle ear system, the incus, which is attached via ligaments to the malleus, begins to vibrate as it is stimulated by the mechanical sound energy. The mechanical sound is then channeled to the stapes, our final bone in the acicular chain. The footplate of the stapes is attached to the oval window at the vestibule of the inner ear system. Similar to the action of a plunger, the footplate of the stapes moves in and out of the oval window, causing the fluid of the inner ear to move back and forth in the motion of a wave. This wave causes a shearing motion of the hair cells of the cochlea, changing the mechanical energy of our sound wave into electrical energy. The hair cells attach to the cochlear nerve, changing the sound energy from electrical to neurologic. This neurologic stimulus is then channeled up the brainstem to the auditory reception area of our brain for processing.